So the first little bump in the trail we looked at to get some lift off and, and get some air time and turn the bump into a jump was pretty free of performance cues. And by that I mean it had a nice easy run in, a nice long straight run out and a very small bump in the trail. Hopefully that's not going to fill you with dread, anticipation and tighten you up on the way in. Once you've got used to the little pump to generate some lift and some drive and accelerate the bike, we can look at a slightly slightly more technical run in and slightly more technical run out. There's a little bit more to do before the entry point and immediately after the exit. But here, very much easier to get the lift. And the reason we've selected this little bump in the trail to get some air off is to work on the push into the landing. You don't have to push so hard into the lip to pump the lip to get any air time, but certainly we want to work into the push into the landing. As you extend your arms out towards the landing and push into the landing, it gives you a full range of limbs compressing as we land to drop into the bike and accelerate the bike away, rather than landing heavy and flat on top and us accelerating faster than the bike below us. Although it's fully possible to get some air time on this little uh, bump without taking much of a run in, if you're practicing and sessioning, a very short run in and a very short run into the lip is not going to give you too much time to do any thinking. It's very easy to start thinking in the now rather than the head of the bike. So to give yourself half a chance and to get into the zone a little bit, taking a little bit of trail before you get to the jump so that you're flowing a bit more freely and you can start to think further and further ahead of the bike. You're making your decisions about this jump before or as soon as you see it really, which will be two corners ahead. You can make your decisions, adjust your speed correctly, whether that speed up or slow down, work how much you're going to have to pump the lip um, way before it's all happened. You haven't got time as you ping off that lip to think of too much. You want to be thinking way ahead of the bike as usual. So here Josh is just going to take a little run in and then we're going to work on that push into the landing, accelerating the bike into the landing. So you can see with a small bump in the trail like this, with a downslope landing, it's quite easy to get some air time without having to add tons of speed on the entry. If you're rattling into a jump, what you feel is already of high speed, you're already going to be slightly tense and slightly tight on the bike. So here we can roll in at a relatively low speed and work on that push into the bike, push through and the push through into the landing. All the time making sure that we stay nice and loose, pushing down and in as we, as we extend back up soaking the bike up to a certain degree rather than trying to pull it up, just allowing it to rise by bending our knees and arms and then pushing through into the landing.